Oh yes, everything is going well. Yes. Dad did hang your brand new chandelier. Mm-hmm. The soccer game is at two and we are all ready. Okay, I'll talk to you later. Bye. Ow. This thing's really too low. I'm training for a cartwheel contest. If I beat Dad, we get to go to Jumping World later on today. Huh, that sounds very interesting. You know, I just hit my head on the chandelier. Ah, uh, that's the 55th time this week. I know. Whoever hung that chandelier, it's too low. Well, I'll leave you to it. Okay, bye. I think I got this mastered. Hey, have you seen my missing shin guard I need for my soccer game? Nope, haven't seen anything here. Also, just because I'm upside down doesn't mean I hear words upside down. Right. Ow. Hey, you ready for the big game? Oh yeah, I'm getting mentally psyched. Well, good luck. Anyways, what's with all that handstands? Oh, we challenged Dad to a cartwheel contest because his philosophy is that we don't need to go to Jumping World when we can jump freely at home. But if we win, which we will because adults, they can't do cartwheels very well, we'll get to go to Jumping World. I love Jumping World! Yay! Yeah. You can still do this. Oh. You still have. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. That was amazing. That. Yes. You got this. Yeah. Dad was on the under 10 junior national cartwheel squad. I know. It's too bad you lost. Now we won't get to go to Jumping World. Wait. I know. I can challenge Dad to a more sophisticated tumbling contest. Okay. Whew, I need some water. I got your text. Why did you need me to open the door? I'm soaked. Did you win? Well, when I was getting out of the car, I tripped on something and it fell in a huge puddle. When I got to the game, there were no referees, so the game was canceled. Ooh, you must be cold. Let me go get you a towel. Oh, and a shirt, please. Oh, she closes the door. Watch out for the chandelier, you can bump your head. Dad hung it so low, it's like four feet off the ground. Hmm, I actually never noticed. Hmm, <laughs> well, he hung it up a few days ago, and he was so—he was too lazy to get the ladder. Do you think Mom will ever notice? I don't know. She's been on a business trip. Yeah. Well, we'll see how Dad's gonna get out of this one. Mm -hmm. What in the world are you doing? I'm doing a handstand. I challenged Dad to a tumbling contest so we can go to Jumping World later. Hmm. Why don't you just challenge Dad to a handstand contest? Oh, superb idea. Let's go. How far can all this handstand business even be? I can do this in my sleep. This is so easy. Ah! Dad, I'm changing our advanced tumbling contest to a handstand contest. Ooh. 
I'm not very good at handstands. And where would we do it in the house? Mm. You know what? Let's do it by the front door. Okay, I'll meet you there in a second. Sissy Wessie, Dad agree, meet me by the front door. Okay. Oh, that handstand was so amazing. We're totally gonna win. And then it's jumping world, here we come. Why are we doing this next to a brand new chandelier that was hung incorrectly? I don't know, and I don't care. As long as we get to go to jumping world. <gasps> oh my goodness. Well, um, sorry for the chandelier, but I assume you lost. And that's $150 for Jumping World, plus $500 for the chandelier. So that comes around $650. You could have just saved all that money by taking us to Jumping World in the first place. What a huge mess. Well, at least I don't have to worry about the four foot chandelier anymore. I'm gonna get the broom and the dustpan from the kitchen. We won! <laughs> yeah! Mom that just said to me that tomorrow Zoe's birthday party was moved from the ice rink to Jumping World. <gasps> that means we gotta go twice. Oh, hold it, guys. That we'll just cancel tonight then, so it's already going tomorrow. Oh no no no! We won fair and square, so we're going tonight. Yeah. <gasps>